Let's start by installing the Universal Render Pipeline into our project. Open the Unity Package Manager, search for Universal Render Pipeline, and install it. This will allow us to use Universal Render Pipeline, compatible shaders, and rendering features. After installation, we need to configure the project to use Universal Render Pipeline. Create a new Universal Render Pipeline asset by going to Assets, Create, Rendering, and Universal Render Pipeline Asset. Then assign this asset under Graphics Settings. Now your project is using Universal Render Pipeline, but some materials and shaders might still look broken. To fix the broken materials, we'll use the Building RCCP Render Pipeline Converter. Open the RCCP Toolbox and navigate to the Convert Tool tab. The system will automatically detect your current pipeline and upgrade all compatible assets. It removes the built-in pipeline shaders and replaces them with Universal Render Pipeline versions provided by RCCP. Simply start from the top one and proceed step by step. Once you complete all steps, you'll be good to go. As you can see, the pink materials are gone, lights are working correctly, and the shaders are now fully Universal Render Pipeline compatible. You can now continue development using the Universal Render Pipeline with full RCCP support. You should add the decal as render a feature to your universal render pipeline asset to use decal and neon features in the project. Simply select your URP asset in your project and add the decal feature to it. Realistic Car Controller Pro supports all render pipelines, and this tool makes switching seamless. Don't forget to check the documentation for more tips. Thanks for watching.